Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll see the IEEE 802.11 physical layer and in that we see the IR packet structure that is the infrared rays packet structure. So uh, this packet structure is uh, mainly involved in the WN architecture where uh, we used to transmit the data as well as to receive the signals. So let's see the architecture or uh, in fact the packet structure how it looks basically is. So uh, this also has uh, the payload as well as the PLCB preamble and the PLCB header. And so uh, you have six different fields that we'll see one by one what all are the various functionalities of this uh, fields. So uh, in this uh, to mainly uh, have an idea is that you don't have the bits instead you have the frequency slots where you just uh, put these fields and send the data into the packet structure. So let's start from the left hand side that is we have the SYNC that is synchronization so it mainly deals with the signal acquisition as well as the clock recovery and uh, there is a minimum and maximum time slot which is there that is the minimum time slot is 50 second and maximum time slot is 73 and it is in milliseconds which are there. Uh, next we have the four slots which is dedicated for the SFD that is the start frame delimiter which mentions the start of the frame. Uh, which together constitutes or forms the PLCB preamble. Then uh, we move towards the right. We have three slots which are dedicated for the data rate. So data rate is represented in two forms that is triple zero which represents one Mbps speed and its basic access rate and then you have double zero one uh, which is at two Mbps and it's for enhanced data access rate means if you want to send the data at a very minimal or at a lower bandwidth you need to uh, use the basic access uh, rate and then if you need to send a data at high speed at 2 mbps you can use the enhanced data rate uh, at 001 uh, bit next you have the dc level so dc level adjustment is just a current uh, which is used to adjust the frequency levels uh, in order to stabilize uh, the plcb preamble which you get and also the data rate which you obtain after receiving these fields so uh, it's dedicated for 32 slots then you have the length so uh, length represents the time which is there in microseconds and it is used to transmit the PSU that is protocol data unit frame and it is used by the MAC layer which you will be seeing for the end of the frame uh, just used to uh, determine the end of the frame and then you have the FCS that is frame check sequence which is a 16 bit CRC which protects the length field which is there prior to it and it is of 16 slots and then you have the MPDU uh, which is of 1 to 2500 octets so uh, this part that is of uh, this slots uh, represent a Gaussian frequency shift keying GFSK at 1 Mbps rate and then you have the MPDU uh, one is of 2 GFSK and another is for 4 GFSK both is for 1 Mbps rate so well that was all regarding the IR packet structure in IEEE 802.11 physical layer so well that was all regarding this video if you found you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe